Hello, thank you for joining us today to help us test our paper prototype of our app. Um, this is an app about um, spreading, like improving conversations about mental health on college campuses. So we're gonna give you a few short tasks to complete with our paper prototype. Um, remember that we're not testing you, we're testing our interface. So don't feel self-conscious if it's difficult to use or if you have any trouble with it. Those are all important things for us to note as we improve our interface. All right, so we're gonna ask you to go through five simple tasks that are fundamental to the function of our app. Um, number one is login. Um, number two is going to be write a post on the app. Number three is scroll, scroll through the interface and then upvote or downvote any post you see. Next we're going to ask you to comment on any post and then we're going to ask you to report a post for inappropriate content. Hello subject. Um, the first task we're going to ask you to complete is log in. So first I'm going to read the authentication. Please enter your net ID and password to join the NU community. So I'll click on this box and I'll enter my net ID. And then I'll enter my password. And then I'll click enter. Okay, so to write a post, um, I'll click the plus button at the top of the screen, and I'll write a post. And I'm just typing in what I type um, want to write, and I'll. Click the check mark button to post it. Okay. Now scroll through and upvote. Okay, so I see some posts on the screen, so I guess I'll scroll like this to see more posts. And then when I find a post I like, I'll upvote it by clicking the arrow that faces upwards on the individual post. Um, to comment on the post, I'll click the reply button on whatever post I want to comment on. So, reply. Okay. Um, so, I'll click on the little text box that says enter reply here. Click. And then I'll write my response. I agree. And I'll click the send button to post it. Send. Now I'm back to the home screen. And does that mean report a post? Mm -hmm. So I, um, if I find a post that I don't like, I'll report it. <laughs> I don't know how to report a post. Yeah. Um, try looking at other like pages on the interface. Okay. Um, I'll try clicking on the post I don't like, maybe. Click. So then, um, when I'm on the post, I'll click the little flag button, and I'll report it for whatever I want to report it on. So I'll just say um, spam because I think it was spam and then I'll submit my report. One of the positives that we observed through all three of our interviews is that all of our testers found it pretty easy to find the plus button to make a new post and then to write and submit a new post. And they also found it pretty easy to use our interface and, up to, and upvote um, and downvote posts as they saw fit. One of our users that we did not film um, was Questioning the presence of the bio or the account as um, shown in this user interface um, printout here. They questioned us about what the purpose of the bio page was given that this is supposed to be an anonymous site. Um, so what kind of information would be displayed 
um, and like if you could identify yourself through the bio were some of the questions that they were asking. One problem we noticed to, uh, during our user observation was that it was difficult for the user to uh, find the option to report a comment that they found uh, was inappropriate. So if we look at the home screen here, there's no way to uh, find, uh, there's no way to report the uh, post from here. To report a post, you'd have to go to the, you'd have to click on the post and then find, uh, the, you can see the post and the uh, replies to that post, and then the top right-hand screen, you can see a flag to report the post. Uh, I think one way to fix this uh, problem is to leave the flag on the uh, details about the post, but also to uh, add a flag on the home screen underneath uh, each individual post, that way it's uh, easier to use for the user to find uh, uh, quickly. One of the issues that one of our um, testers found was that they could not figure out how to upvote. Um, they eventually figured it out, but they were a little bit misled by the arrows on the individual posts. Um, so that might be something to think about refining. One possible solution to this might be labeling it with words or um, perhaps making the icons a little bit bigger. One problem that we saw with um, two of our users is that they had, they struggled to find the reply button at first. Um, as you can see on the interface here, it's pretty small and it's at the bottom and it's just written in plain text. Um, and while they did ultimately find the button and click on it to get to the reply page, it did take a little bit longer than we would have liked for our testers to actually reply. Um, and that's important time for any app. We don't want them struggling to use it. So some ideas we have to um, resolve this issue are to possibly make the reply button bigger or maybe use an icon um, that is gen generally synonymous with like reply features in social media. 